M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick demo of Hamshack Hotline. Now, at the moment, I'm just going to dial um, M6LSJ. So you can see I've, it's all configured. It says Hamshack Hotline. We've got my number, which is 426090. If anyone wants to call me, go ahead, leave a message. And this does take voice messages, and you can play them back. If you get a red light here, you have a voice message. So I'm going to ring up my friend, and we're just going to use the speaker. So we're going to dial his number, which is 4260. And then 9-1, okay? And then we're going to hit the speaker. And it'll be M6LSJ. Hello? Um, M6LSJ, M0FXB. This is M6LSJ, Bernie. Oh, I'm right. I'm the... I'm the Cisco. Uh, IP phone, SPA, 52G, 5, 525G. Okay, well, nice to catch you on um, on uh, Hamshack Hotline. So this is a free service, uh, obviously reliant on donations. And we are, you know, at the moment, we're just, we both have been assigned a number, which we got from Hamshack Online. And then the idea behind this is also, it's not just peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, but it's also, we can connect these devices, which are very inexpensive, under, you can get one of these for about £35. Um, and we can connect... Um, you no, know, yeah, um, to RF links, uh, there's, there's cross links to All Star and all kinds of stuff, um, and even broadcast type radio uh, all around the world. So we're just uh, we're, we're, we're checking it out, it's a growing part of our hobby. So, uh, back to uh, Lionel, are you receiving me okay? Yes, I'm receiving you okay. Um, uh, you, you did say you get some about 30 quid, but I recommend this model because I like the screen on it, it's nice and clear. And it's got more details to it. I mean, it's fantastic. Back to you, M zero FXB. Yeah, thank you. And then to end the call. Um, as far as I can see, we, it could be hash, but it depends the type of connection. Because we are direct. I'm going to push the hash and see if the call ends. It do, has it ended? M6 LSJ. No, you've got to right. touch the screen. You've yeah, got to touch the screen. Yeah, well, it looks like we've got to push end call here. So if I end the call, I'm going to ring you straight back. We've ended the call. Now, if we were collect, as far as I know, and I haven't done this yet, so correct me if I'm wrong, if we're connected to a, an RF link or something, we push star 99 to TX, and we push what they call the pound key or the hash key in the UK to, to end the TX. So we'll do, we'll do some tests on that as well. So we're just going to call my friend back and say 73. So we'll just go uh, put his number in, 4212345669. Nine one and then hit call and then M6 LSJ there. Is M6 LSJ returning? Uh, M6 LSJ uh, answering this phone call. M0FXB returning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to try and connect to an RF link now, an All Star link. Just show that working. And uh, we haven't enabled the what they call the sidecar yet. You've got all these buttons here which you can program um, to, for anything you want, whether it's individual users or RF links. They call them the extensions. So, yeah, thanks for the test, Lionel. 7-3, thanks very much. It's no problem. Can you tell me how to do the All Star when you uh, finish the video? So, very appreciate it. The M6 there stay clear in from M6, M0 uh, FXB. Yep, yeah, 7-3, and just to let you know that the audio is absolutely perfect. 7-3, all the best. Yeah, same here as well. Right, so we'll just pause that a minute. Look, we can actually add that to a, a, a address book, so I'll just say select. I don't oh, even know how to do it. Happen. So there you go. Um, oh, name, I can add the name. Uh, I, th I, th I don't know if I've got time to do it. We'll just do the call sign quickly. M, then we'll go to 6, uh, L, J, K, L, L, P, Q, R, S, uh, J, A, R, J. Okay, we're just going to keep it as that, and we're just going to go save. Okay, I don't even know where it will put it. Oh, the data's incomplete. Anyway, so, you know, I'm just messing around. So let's see if we can get to an RF link. One sec. So just a quick one. We've got some RF links here. Let's pick one at random. So we'll pick um, 94001 here, saying that it's this is on the BLF, uh, should we call it a dashboard. Uh, so we'll just go over and type that in, 94001. So here we are, Ham Shack. So we're just going to go nine four zero zero one and hit the speaker. Hello. 
node two nine eight eight five connected. And you can see it's active already. There you go. We obviously can't see X at the moment. Not as loud as the last station. So we'll get all this working another time. We'll end that for now, and more demos to come. Seven three, all the best. Alpha Delta, he's uh, north of Orlando in uh, Florida. So anyway, back to you, and then you can pass it to uh, to um, Steve EI five DD. Over to you, and uh, good to hear you from Mike Cundy is here, Alpha Alpha Zulu in the group. So we're we're in um, this link here, which is trying to see. No, it's not showing it on the screen. I just checked something out. Adam uh, Ken, and that's part of the uh, virtual bridge, which uh, connects between uh, All Star and uh, DMR. That's the best way I could uh, describe it without doing your nut. And over to you, Steve. That's nearly time we were out of here. It's 5 2 now. Yeah, 5 DD in the group with Let's see if uh, I can, uh... for the M0 station over in Cornwall. This is MI0 AAZ. So we'll go in. Star 99. M0 FXB. Yeah, apologies for jumping in. I'm just testing out one of these Hamshack hotline devices. So it's a, a Cisco 525 IP phone. How's my audio? My name's Andreas, located southwest. UK, back to you. Mecco India 5, Delta Delta. Audio is absolutely superb there. Uh, perfect quality there. No problems copying at all. So, uh, yes, I, I was actually uh, following up some of your stuff there. Uh, I see you uh, mentioning hotline, Hamshack hotline recently. It was me actually that posted the uh, link to the Galway VHF group site, uh, if, um, if you uh, saw that. So anyway, yeah, yeah, we're coming in on the... There you are. Uh, Sounding good, right. isn't it? Um, I have a little uh, node here with the CM108. Can you hear? Fob, and uh, that's into a Raspberry Pi. And uh, Balfang S is uh, uh, modified there in its, uh, its transceiver there. So Can that's you hear me? It definitely with, works. Uh, Ken KK4IAD, who's using <coughs> a Shari Pi hat. Uh, all, all of us here are actually Hamshack hotline users as well. So, uh, uh, Ken has the phone, John has one, and I have the 525 here as well. So I'm going to pass it round to uh, Ken uh, to give you a report. Uh, KK4IAD uh, with the group EI5 today. KK4IAD returning to the group. Good afternoon, Andreas. I look at your YouTube clips. <laughs> well done, you're very good. I can't keep up with you to tell man, you're, you have another little clip up, but um, you would have been interested in a conversation. Actually, and you were the one that was instigated it as far as I was concerned. Um, I, like yourself, I'm the owner of an ICOM 705 and an ID52. And I was trying to justify buying a decent, we'll say, earpiece. That, would ha that you would be able to use multiple protocols on, we'll say, or multiple profiles, uh, a Yezu FT5 that I have, the ID52, the Anytone 878, the ICOM 705, and the ID52. And I couldn't justify the cost of the VS3, so that's how all that came about. So, um, And I noticed that you were doing some experiments with the Yezu little one, which seems to be the cheapest. And they've just spoken a couple of moments ago about... One right, well, 73, as you can see, it works great. So Star 99 to PT, hash to DKey. 73, thanks for watching.